Hello everybody and welcome to this new video. So, June is ending and so is Pride Month. <laughs> yes, I know, get ready for all the major corporations to take down the Pride collections from all the stores. I know, so sad. Um, <laughs> but as Pride Month is ending, I wanted to like make another video on identity, I guess you could call it. This whole video is unscripted and will be unedited, not only because I'm lazy, but um, yeah, I just wanted to get my thoughts out there in the world unedited, because I know how perfectionistic I can be. So um, it could be that there are some weird pauses and also some weird phrasing <laughs> that there's some weird phrasing in this video and um, yeah <laughs> so um, to to summarize everything I guess I um, I think that the most important thing for everyone is that you're honest to yourself you know you don't owe anyone anything. You don't owe an explanation to anyone. You don't owe a lecture <laughs> on on who you are and for anyone. You don't owe anyone a stereotypical appearance or behavior. I just think that you owe yourself some honesty because in the end life is there to to be lived, you know? And what fun would life be <laughs> if you are miserable the whole way through because you have to hide a certain part of yourself from from everyone and also from yourself. I know it's not super easy for <laughs> or possible <laughs> for everyone to be loud and proud, but um, you should at least be proud of yourself for yourself, you know? Because in the end, it's only you. You have to be around yourself 24 7. And I want to be at least accepting of myself, <laughs> because it, it would be hell if I, or if you, <laughs> hate yourself all the time. I think the, the goal in life should be to be happy and yeah, that's, that's why I think the most important thing is to be honest and accepting of yourself. Of course, of other people too, but the most important thing <laughs> is that. So, as long as you're not hurting anyone, why not be who you are, you know? And that also goes for appearance and, and stuff like body hair. Like, if you like your mustache, keep keep your mustache. It, it, it <laughs> Like, I shave my legs, or peel my legs, I peel the hairs off, because I like the feeling of having soft legs. But I don't shave my chest hair, because I like how my chest hair looks. <laughs> you know? It's like, keep whatever body hair you like, and shave off, or peel, or wax, <laughs> whatever you don't like, you know? It's like, it's your, it's your fucking body. You have to be in your body 24-7. You should be cool with it. And not kind of have to change it around for anyone or any standard that is there. That just, it, just, it sucks. Why would you do that? <laughs> it's like, is that more important than your own 
feeling of comfort? I don't think so. <laughs> Body hair is not hurting anyone, actually. Actually. So, yeah. You know. Of course I I I know that that as I said it's not possible for everyone to be loud and proud for every part that is to this that is there of themselves but you know I I heard a very important for me at least it's important quote once that um, if you love me, you must love one hundred percent of my being. Because if you don't love hundred percent, a hundred percent of me, you don't love me. You love the idea you have of me. How you'd like me to be. That's who you love, and not who I actually am. So. If there are people in your life that don't accept, for example, don't accept your sexuality, they're like, I'm cool with that, but you know, with you, I just don't see that in you. That's not accepting. If they're like, oh, I don't think you're a girl, I would see you more as like a gender neutral type, you know, that new thing, I don't know what that's called, like non-binary, non isn't that a computer thing? That's not accepting, that's not love, that's bullshit and ignorance. And it's not okay to treat anyone like that. And if you are a person who would correct others, or even if you don't, if you just think that this is with this wasn't nice, how this person talked to the other person, if anyone else would be in your place and you would defend them or at least think that it's not cool, you should also do the same for yourself. Because you are 100% worth it. You are worth being comfortable and you're worth being happy in yourself, with yourself, being yourself. And there shouldn't be any law or any person or anyone, anything standing in your way for that. So I hope you are all safe, because sadly it's still not 100% sure <laughs> that anyone's, everyone's safe with being something different than heterosexual and cisgender. So I hope you're in a safe space, a safe place, and that you have surrounded or found people, surrounded yourself or found people that accept you for who you are and love you for who you are, because you deserve that love. Alright, I think, I think that's enough. Yes, that's, that, those are my, my thoughts on that whole topic. Happy Pride, everyone. <laughs>